Hi folks, I'm Romy the Demon Warship Andromeda Ascendant. Who else would I be? Welcome back to my channel. On the 22nd of the 9th, 2019, my gaming co-host Lucian from Lucian's House and I um, did a live stream episode of On the Holodeck featuring Star Trek Online uh, in tribute to Aaron Eisenberg, who you all know as Nog from Deep Space Nine and of course from this game as well. And the live stream lasted for approximately two hours, which is great if you're in the moment watching the live stream because it's moment by moment. Unfortunately, not so good if you're trying to re-watch an episode later. Two hours can be a little bit much. So we've taken out all the bad bits and mixed them down into two um, bite-sized episodes filled with highlights, good bits and bloopers. Here is part one. I hope you enjoy it. I'm thinking maybe we take a little trek around DS9, um, which is around there, and hopefully grab a mission or two from Captain Nog himself. So, fingers crossed, we can actually find a mission before um, we actually end the stream. <laughs> right, I've just arrived at DS9, so I thought we could actually like have a walk around the promenade and see where Nog was brought up and all the rest of it. Okay, fair enough, in which case I shall... Make my own way there, if I can find it. <laughs> uh, use your transwarp. Actually, I'm literally just around the corner, so... Oh, yeah? Oh, cool. Um, I've actually docked my ship, so if you dock yours, we should end up in the same instance. Fantabulous. Oh, okay, so you haven't come into the same dock as I have. Nope. Um I am here. What, what instance are you in? Um, I'm actually in the oh, same uh, as you. What? Gosh. You see me? Oh, I see you. Meter Ridge, Meter Ridge, Meter Ridge, Meter Ridge. It says you're over here somewhere. We're running to each other! Hi. Running! Where have you gone, love? Jump straight over your head. Boink. <laughs> <laughs> it won't oh, let me shoot you. Bless oh you. well, fair enough. It's alright, I can still batter you, come here. You see, Lucian likes to play games on my channel where I can't shoot him and then play games on his channel where he can shoot me. Of uh, course. Which brings to um, mind the space engineers. He managed to <laughs> shoot me and kill me. <laughs> <laughs> twice and then when I flipped over the rover like several times he wasn't even harmed in the slightest not even a scratch <laughs> I am a mortal darling you you yeah, may be the warship <laughs> I am Lucian See, I'm mortal. supposed to be the immortal <laughs> <laughs> all right so I, I think first things first we should find quarks we should find quarks yes which I believe is around here somewhere yeah, bloody better be. That's one of the main, main reasons why I come here. Ah, there is <laughs> the um, the replomat. Corks is just around the corner. Now let's see if it looks anything like it used uh, to be. At ships. There's Odo's office, which means Quarks should be. Well, technically, this is the bank and exchange. A yes. Oh, actually, that isn't Odo's office. I thought it was. No. No, an hour that we were standing right next to it. Ooh, transporter pad. There's oh, yeah. Odo's office. Where? 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 Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Officer go? Rose Senna. She won't let me shoot her. What a bitch. <laughs> and I've just gone straight past her. Oh. Is... You have. No, that's the Romulan ambassador. This one, right here. Hello. I can't. You know what? Hang on. Let me zoom in on my mini map just so I can see stuff. Yeah, okay, I had to does that. <laughs> yeah, Odo's office. Odo, where are you? are not. Where's Odo? Yeah, Odo is now the leader of the, the new founders. Well, I'm actually still looking around for a bucket, just like maybe as an Easter egg. <laughs> actually, um, the last time I was on a mission here, um, Kira Narice was the Kai, but then they went back to the planet where Kai Opaka was. Um, if you remember, she was killed and then those nanites brought her back to life and if she left the planet it would kill her okay they finally managed to um bring dr bashir back and cure them and then they all left the planet and they all died oh tasty yeah and here is quarks um before you go in there do you want to see a klingon singing with a harpsichord and the klingon restaurant yes right here <laughs> <laughs> Never seen a Klingon do that before. All right. Aha, in which case Got you need to watch more episodes of DS9. Quarky boy! Here we go. And it is actually Quark himself. 
Yep. Um, forewarning, do not click on talk to Morn. Because Why? It, well, you could literally ask him a simple question. You know how... I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. Dot, dot, dot. Continue. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. My options are Morn. Morn, I could really use, use your advice. Got any gossip? Want to play for a few hours of Dabo? Um... Where have you been all this time? Yeah, where have you been all this time? Oh, you're going to get into a cut screen that you can't exit. And then dot, dot, hours dot. later. <laughs> oh, well, I thought, you couldn't give me warnings on that. <laughs> Morn I looks off into the distance, wondering where to begin. <laughs> it's actually very clever, though, because obviously oh. in the series, people were talking about <laughs> how talkative he was, but you never actually heard Morn say anything, and they've done exactly that here. Yeah. And the, this time the escape button actually worked. God damn it, I had to sit through 15 minutes of it. <laughs> the bar <laughs> actually closed by the time I'd finished. Actually, you know what? Let's play some Dabo, if we can. Sure, why fun. not? I've got lots of, of credits. Play Dabo. I Dabo! Have, I have no idea actually how to play Dabo, but... Well, we're getting there's a tutorial there. But you Spin know the what? Let's wheel skip the win. tutorial and click on Play Dabo. <laughs> play Dabo. Okay, um... Bet amount. Yeah, oh, 100 on. credits. Why not? Uh, a thousand. Place bet. I don't know what I'm... Oh, it wouldn't let me pick a slot. Oh, it's already being spun now. Waiting. Yeah, I want 200 gold press platinum. Oh, God damn you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Felix. you know what? Let's bet a thousand again. A thousand gold press lightning on slot number thirty-two. Place that. Watch the wheel. Uh, actually, well, I'm I'm paying with um, energy credits. Yes, and you get lightning back for it. Last yeah. game, Kinvig won two hundred gold press lightning. You can't actually spend the lightning on anything though. Angel of Death won zero. Go well, Damn it! <laughs> uh, I am making a run with my 200 gold press latinum because I am not losing. Ooh, darts! Can we play? Yeah, you can play darts! Can you? Yeah, but apparently with no control. I'm going to use some of oh, my, my energy credits and see if I can win. <laughs> he got angry. He got angry because he missed the shot. <laughs> and now some aliens come in with me. Go away! It's my dog. Oh, see, it's a rigged table. I'm leaving it. Where's the dartboard? <laughs> yeah. Over here. Over to here. Where I'm uh, standing. Aha. Uh -huh. That is not... Um... That's not a Federation standard dartboard. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it also isn't actually where the board was, because in the is a license original game, it was behind the dartboard table, I believe. Why is yeah. it asking me to talk to Morn when I want to play darts? No! Well, Come over here a bit more and you, and you can. There we are. Alright, let's have a word with Quark. Can I see the menu? Okay, just a bunch of food. I was kind of hoping for him to actually, like, maybe have, like, an actual dialogue with him. Yeah, he wants you to order stuff and that's about it. Typical Quark. What can oh, I get from you? Oh, what? That costs. Okay, so apparently. Which I don't know if you get. You can get hollow emitters for your ship that last an hour. Yes, but I already uh, have a hollow fleet, so. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, one of the things he has got is saurian brandy, which I wanted for one of the um, the duty officers' um, missions. And oh yeah. I couldn't find it in the replicators. Like, oh well, I can't do that. I'm gonna buy some here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I am so buying this for a hundred gold plus platinum. What are you buying? You'll see when I when I put it on. No, ah, oh, I bought the nullifier. Oh crap! Okay, no matter. What I'll can I get one. for you? Oh, are you referring to the one that you had on your um, side arm the last time? No. <laughs> All right, where are you? Stand still. Ready? In the list. What can I get for you? Dance, baby, dance! Oh wow. <laughs> I forgot you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And this is how we celebrate the life of Nog. 
pretty much in his uncle's bar. We need a drink. Right. <laughs> Have a look at the dude behind you in white. He's actually dancing on the chairs and table. Oh wow. Kind of looks like Julian Bashir, but apparently his name's Gerald. Really? He looks like Elvis to me. <laughs> Kind and then of you bald got... until you get all the way up to him. <laughs> it's amazing how everyone else is dancing except for me. It doesn't affect me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so, so let me guess. It's a potion that you can use for the rest yeah. of the room. Yeah. What can I, I get I, for you? Um, only works for two minutes. And it costs 100. So I'll, I'll basically just spend out all of my gold press latinum. It's not even on my list. <laughs> no, you have to buy it from the other uh, from Hadron. Ah. Who's that in? Uh, other side of the bar. Oh, that dude. Yeah. Hello, Hadron. Oh, he's hiding now. <laughs> Probably because <laughs> I shot him last time I came in here. <laughs> oh, that was nice. <laughs> subspace party amplifier, subspace party nullifier. Oh, yeah. so you can actually stop it as well. <laughs> now nah, let's keep the party going. Exactly. Let's get this party started. How yeah, does trophies and costumes as well? I know, I was looking, but they're expensive. Yeah, 250,000. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gold Press Latinum. Now, I did see an exchange somewhere, actually, for the Latinum. I'm going to try and find out the conversion rate. I think it's ah. in one of these corners. Somewhere. Latinum Exchange Store. Okay, so, oh, right, 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 right. If I had, like, maybe, like, one Terran holiday ornament or one bullion candles, I can get all that for, for 200 gold press latinum. Ah. One holiday gift receipt. Okay, so that's just a way of getting rid of those extra... I have, unfortunately, nothing to sell. Basically seasonal things, just yeah. to trade it in for gold press latinum. At the moment, I've got options to buy gold press latinum, but it costs. Oh yeah, okay, fair enough. Where can you buy gold press latinum? It's, it was the same one. Um, um, two hundred, two hundred gold press latinum. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Does it get you one Terran holiday? Or no, uh, the other way around, I think. Oh, I was going to say think. I've I've definitely got at least. Buy one and find out. See if it lets you. Yeah, it won't let me. I, um... Yeah, so you need those items to transfer it into Gold Press Latinum. Yeah. Which Quark will then sell on his um, dodgy market somewhere, probably. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Roy, shall we try and find a mission somewhere? Yes. Now, from what I saw, if we can get to the um, Kayana system which is in the Cerulean Sector of the Delta Quadrant. Okay. Uh, apparently there's a bunch... Oh, apparently that is where Captain Nog is. Yes, that would make sense. That's where he was doing the um, Krenum timeline. Um, yeah, so I, we have to go through the wormhole. That would lead us to the Gamma Quadrant, not the Delta Quadrant. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, look at that, timing. Um, Perfect timing. Then the only other way to the Delta Quadrant was through the gateway, wasn't it? Yes, the dice bottle. Did you say time in a bottle was one of them? Uh, let me double check. Yes, time in a bottle is one of them. Okay, it is in the Iconium War. And I believe after that, Nog actually comes up in some of the um, meetings with the research scientists. And that's where I uh, mentioned the quote earlier of um, he can't believe there's part of him that he doesn't re um, didn't experience. I think it's in this series. Okay, well, good news is I have just skipped them all except for time in a bottle, so I'm hailing for time in a bottle. Woohoo! So. Don't me... forget to share. That's uh, just what I'm doing new. We have a lead on the Krenim. Woohoo! Voyager went to Krenim space looking for them a few months ago, but didn't. And. So to the beta conference. Half ago, where we just came from. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> All this just for like 10 seconds of FaceTime with Captain Nog. Pretty much. Which was the whole purpose of this episode. <laughs> exactly. 
Right, let me know when you have come to the right quadrant. I am here, right behind you. Hurt, literally. Ooh, I'll sign. Go to the Drazana system. Yep, I've already clicked on it, so I'm quite surprised it didn't get you to teleport in with me. Yeah. I think this is one, like I say, you have to actually approach the station similar to, and then... It yes, it is. It's a massive station. Whee! Docking at station. Ha! Accept! And it should lead you to a conference room with Captain Nog. And he's actually in the um, the white uniform, um, which we saw in one of the final TNG movies. How dare he! I know, right? <laughs> why? Why just doesn't just doesn't go with the colour of his ears? No. <laughs> All the colour of Latinum. <laughs> this is true. Right. Time in the bottle. Begin. Begin. Are you sitting comfortably? Sir, business facility Quinn has rented space at the station for his private sales meetings. Ooh, what's he selling? Sex toys? <laughs> Knowing Quark, probably. <laughs> May I help you? <clears throat> we have oh, an appointment. Oh. Wait, you must be. I'm sorry, but the business facilitator is. We had busy. an appointment. Yes. Yeah, just threaten her. Quinn left me explicit instructions about this. He's in the middle of a delicate negotiation to triple his profits on the sale. Negotiate. Maybe, let's see. It was something. So Quinn, you want to threaten I her? Think? Yeah, sure. Delta why not? Quadrant treasures Fuck are it. all the rage right now. <laughs> Look, Quinn hired me to answer the comms and chat up the customers. Just go right not in. To be secure. I don't care. Just open the damn go door. Go right in. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> let's run. Unlike my unearthed colleague, who likes a bit of violence. Well, I've got to live up to my name of Warship. <laughs> Actually, thought I was running the wrong way then. <laughs> Not so fast! The gentleman with the rather imposing associates over there has just made a very competitive offer for the device. Yeah. Care to make a I'm make it your time and get explicitly You with said me. there weren't any other buyers, Quinn! Now what do I see? Starfleet Stooges here to cause trouble. That sounds Guard, like Grand Nagus Z. Get these riffraff out of here so I can conclude my deal. We got a shield. Say hello to my little friend. Say hello to my weapon. I'll get it out just as soon as I finish shooting at you. <laughs> yeah. Ready, kick. See, I can't do that. That's because you're not tactical. Yep. And you have a bit of extra backup. You called in more stuff. Oh. I did. And I just put a dampening field around nobody. <laughs> Here it goes. Oh, there's not enough to kill. Oh. Ooh, we have an item. It is recoil compass. Oh, God damn it! Fine. What happened? I'll add when I was going to pay those guards to my... I got a cut screen. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Captain Nog. Finally! Son of Grand Nagus Rob. And I am a Ferengi. And when you deal with these people, you deal with me. Uh, you have a choice. Either deal with me, or I ask my father to have a word with the liquidators about your poor business practice. Um, well, I'm sure we can come to an understanding. I'm That's sure we I can. <laughs> Kiss the staff. Get out! Not you, Quinn. Thanks, Nog. It's amazing how he's a fantastic ventriloquist, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't see his lips move once. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my best offer. How about we agree on a price, and you get your Delta Quadrant doodad, and I leave. Everyone's happy. Not so fast. No? Fine. How about I answer your questions, and maybe then I get to leave. Well, let's get on with it. Every minute I stand here, I'm losing a strip of platinum. The device is... Device yeah, on. yeah, let's I speak to Nog. Interesting. Yep. I know Oops. <laughs> I skipped out of that one. And so that's so did I. Survivors <laughs> of the Vodouar project. It's true. My, I grew up on interest. 
Quinn left without taking down. Just to overload the EPS systems. The EPS oh, I was reading that, you kid. <laughs> Fine, I guess I'll do it then, huh? Oh, so oh, oh so <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> now that the power flow is disrupted, the controls are yes. Over here by the administrative door. access. Oh, let you get that one. Excellent. It's a time now crystal, get a good I think. Investigating the voice for strange energy waveforms. That's one of those, is it? The waveforms it aren't is. like anything I've seen before. I think I'm getting something. This is definitely Krenum in origin. I and hate Quinn was right on the age. I'm also seeing. I'll take the device back to my ship, the Chimera. See you in the Delta Quadrant. Accept. Well, that's rock and roll. Off we go. Oh, we already have orders on the screen. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, I'm going to start. And if it's working, it's working. If it's not, it's not. We can. Um, I'll tell you momentarily. Go to Starbase 24. Oh, we're not doing that one again, are we? No, we are fucking not. I thought you <laughs> sent me that one. Nope, drop. Definitely not. Way before a drum door sentence, September 22nd, 2019, at 3 past 10. Hello, folks. Bear with us one second. We're just checking that the stream's working before we do anything. If it is, then you just got a load of entertainment. Yes, yeah. We're on. We're on. We're on. Fabulous. Woohoo! Ah, something went right aboard the Andromeda for once. <laughs> That's a fucking thing, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Hi, folks. I'm Rob with the Demon Warship Andromeda Ascendant. Who else would I be? I am here with my co host. Introduce yourself. Hello, darlings. It's Lucian from Lucian's house. <laughs> And Hi. Lucian's channel is linked in the description bar. Um, would you like to tell them a little bit about what we do in general before I get to today's reason? Oh, uh, but I've already been drinking. But okay, yeah, <laughs> okay. Okay, why not? Why not? I, I'll try my hardest. I'll put, I'll, I'll put on my straight face. Hang on. Right, smart enough. They can't see your face. You've got no camera. It's a good thing I'm half Irish, isn't it? Because I completely forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> right, basically the idea at the moment for Romy and myself is we are actually going to be guest starring on each other's channels. Um, for example, when Romy does On the Holodeck, I will be popping in, waving hi, and most probably, most probably trying to blow it up if possible within any game we're choosing to play. Probably, yes. <laughs> yeah. That's, this, to be honest, this is normally what happens. Yeah. Um, and then obviously over on my channel at the moment, we are currently doing Space Engineers, uh, where so Romy fun. is basically coming over to help me out, be, be, be a, and actually be a host on my channel, and normally try to squish me or run me over, over with a spaceship. Yeah. The last time we did a, a backflip and I completely, you know, totaled the, <laughs> the crap. Oh, gold, yeah. Our first ever ship. I've got, right, Romy, there's a ship for you. Learn. <laughs> oh, she did. She 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 learned how she learned how to crash it and backflip it. Yeah, I learned how to do somersaults in a Land Rover. It was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, and then blow it up. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. And um, it was quite. Um, I, I think I might have a, a, a bit of a jinx with people because everybody that I've mentioned recently, I've got. Oh, guess who's back? Suddenly they've died. Um, <laughs> and I was just saying to Lucian the other day that um, there's a channel on YouTube which is the seventh rule, which is um, Aaron Heisenberg, um, Ryan Husk, and um, Sarah Clofton, who played Jake Sisko. And I was just telling Lucian about it, saying, Oh, you've got to watch these guys, it's brilliant. They do links and they're doing things for DS9 characters and blah, blah, blah. And we was going to literally do a watch party and a reaction video. <laughs> and then lo and behold today <laughs> yeah yeah look what happens mm, so i apologize if i'm the jinx for that one i mean <laughs> you know i am the angel of death the demon worship so you never know <laughs> but you're not the one with the gypsy tongue you're not the irish you're not the gypsy that's meant to be my side of the family oh that's right that's that's my people we'll blame you for it there then but i didn't say nothing against this death so you can't can't be blaming me it's all you on this one <laughs> So, um, we're going to try, if we can, um, at the moment Lucian is building up his character, um, but when we do the recorded um, versions then we should be at the same level and have probably gone through all of the episodes in which then we can choose the ones we want to do. Um, but in this one we're going to either wing it, or if we can, try and find episodes that have Captain Nog or some Deep Space Nine attachment to it. 
and I do apologise because obviously where this is live we do get hiccups from here and there. Unfortunately I do have my daughter in the background on the baby monitor and she's coughing so give me two seconds and I will be right back. Awesome. Meanwhile would you like to give me your location so I can find you? <laughs> Apparently not, he's already gone. But I have just found him at Earth Space Dock, so transwarping four, three, two, and one. Yeah. I'm gonna accept this just as he's gonna sit down, aren't I? I know it for a fact. <laughs> Cold War mission replay. So we're gonna do this just whilst we wait for Lucian. Go to the Defra system. Half it go. Transport to the Alpha Quadrant. Well, I'm already there, you silly goose. <laughs> so, one quick mission while we wait. And I guarantee, as soon as I click begin, that's when Lucian will say, I'm back, everybody. How are you? Continuous. Right, what have we got to do? Here oh. I come to wrap the day! I fucking knew it. I literally just said as soon as I click on this mission to start it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I say, darling, I am to please. Fabulous. Right, you do what you need to do to your ship. I'm going to do whatever the hell it is on this mission and then we will continue. We're done for today, Ambassador. Woohoo! <coughs> really? That was it? I just had to talk to him to say, yeah, we're done. Yep. We have a ding! Ding or a dingaling? Well, <laughs> I wish it was a dingling. Oh, I have a naughty little secret. Oh, you said, oh, I have a naughty little secret. Oh, go, yay, darling. <laughs> According to certain someone not far away from you, yeah. You were playing Farmville today. Oh, where is she? <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Giving away my dirty little secrets now, baby. <laughs> Great. And actually, it was Farmville too. Get your facts right, darling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a bitch. I can't believe you, like, no. Oh, you know what? Sod it. I will get you back for that, Rob. You probably and will, you. yeah. And <laughs> you. Oh, all the rewards I can get out. I know where you sleep as well. Right next to us. Keep that in your mind, yeah? Congratulations, Apple. I'll, I'll make sure I sleep with one eye open, baby, just for you. Right, whilst you are choosing a current mission, I'm going to leave the audience staring at my cat whilst I go for a tinkle, and then you can invite me to um, wherever it is and share the mission. I shall keep everyone entertained then, shall I, darlings? You shall, yes. But unfortunately, they can't see your face. Well, actually, that's fortunate. Um, well, exactly. <laughs> right. Did you know Romy's real age is yeah. actually? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, typical. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what uh, Lucians do. They take a wrong time for a pit stop, which is quite ironic because um, a little earlier, I wanted a pit stop. And I thought, I basically sat here for about an hour waiting for Lucian to return. I thought, I know, I got tinkle before he gets back. Literally, as soon as I got to the bathroom, he started to call. I was like, your timing couldn't be any more perfect. Ran all the way back into the living room where I am now, called him back, and he was like, I'll be two minutes, hung up. I was like, good damn it. <laughs> but I'm going to return the favour. As soon as he comes back, I'm going to be like, be right back, mise need to ease, and I'm going to allow him to entertain you all um, while I vanish, because otherwise, you'll basically be just seeing... Um, my POV staring at <laughs> staring at um, space dock. Yes, typical illusion. Exactly. Yeah. He basically slowed down for me to catch up and then sped off again. He pretty much, yeah. Yeah, he's baiting you. He, like, or better still, he's a curb crawler. Yeah, that sounds more like <laughs> it. 
Well, folks, that was part one. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're eager to see part two and whether Lucian gets revenge on the Demon Warship or not, then click subscribe and the notification bell and you will be notified the instant it is available. Uh, if you want to uh, support our channel, then also see the Patreon link in the description bar. In the meantime, dismiss that's the Starfleet expression for we have fun. Get out of here.